Researchers in Belgium and northern France are collaborating to tackle one of the biggest challenges of our era, food waste. In the EU, every year, almost 90 billion kilos of food are thrown away, most of it because consumers can't tell if it is still edible after the expiration date. But what if there was a sensor capable of sniffing food to tell if it's spoiled without even opening the package? We use microbiological methods to examine the microbial growth within the food products, chemical methods to determine the concentrations of the volatile compounds, and sensory evaluation to get information from panelists by smelling. The sensor is being developed as part of a highly innovative project and will hopefully detect the volatile compounds produced by decaying food. It is a multidisciplinary project. We need specialists in food and food spoilage, but on the other hand, we need uh, investigators that uh, are able to miniaturize, to make the small chips that uh, make the, the, the technology possible. The project, called TerraFood, has brought together partners in four cities in northern France and Belgium for four years for a total investment of two million euros, half of which has come from the European cohesion policy. To miniaturize the sensor, researchers in Lille use silicon, a common and cheap material. Right now, the microchips can only be read with a heavy and expensive machine, but the scientists working on them have bigger dreams. At the end of the technological development of this microsystem, it will contain its own detection method to be interrogated remotely, so that it will be possible to use it in the field without the need for large laboratory resources. It will take time to develop a sensor capable of sniffing every kind of food, but the project coordinator says this technology, based on terahertz waves, which has never been tried before, is already successful. We are about to carry out the first tests to simulate how the sensor would work in a real food package. We believe we'll have a first demonstration of the viability of this new technology by summer 2020. Scientists think in five years the first sensors could be on the market for industrial use. It may take a little more time for consumers to have an app on their phones able to tell them if their salmon is still good enough for sushi.